All right, guys, welcome back once again to the continuing video saga of the Beachmaster pulse induction metal detector. Today we are looking at the preamp, and here is the circuit board, at least the front face of it, as we have populated the, it thus far. Okay, you can see I've got my probe hooked up to test point number four um, and I have the ground back on the back side of the board let's take a look at the oscilloscope so we can see what the preamp signal looks like All right guys on screen you see the preamp signal let's zoom in a little bit a little bit more. Okay, we have the adjustable resistance jig set up for the damping resistor. I will turn that a little bit. You can see the difference as we increase and decrease the resistance right um, if we adjust RV1 we will get closer to the zero point here I've already adjusted that I don't think I'm going to do it again one other point about RV1, you can see our signal here as it comes up out of saturation. Um, if you were to swap out the op amp in this project, we're using an NE5532. If you were to swap that out, you would have to come back in again and adjust that uh, RV1 pot to zero yourself out here. All right, on to the next part of the project. Just in a, one more shot of the preamp signal here. You can see we're just about uh, 25 microseconds until we come up out of saturation. Now, the coil that I'm using is not a particularly fast coil. Um, and when we're talking about the damping resistor, I'm going to refer you to a couple videos that I did, one on making the damper resistor jig and the other about adjusting the damping resistor and what you should be looking at. So I will post a link up in the upper right hand corner here right now. Thanks.